So today we're going to be talking about five things that Tailwind app can do that Planoly can't. So every time I get on my soapbox and I talk about how much I love Planoly, what I find is people are like, oh, I mean, on my soapbox and I talk about Tailwind app, um, people always say, oh, I'm using Planoly. And I like, I want to get across how much easier my life is made by Tailwind app versus using Planoly. And I have used Planoly. I've used multiple social media schedulers. Um, and I, number one, chose Tailwind because it does more for me than any other social media scheduler. Um, and because it's, it not only does all of the social media that I like, which is Pinterest, Facebook, and Instagram, but it has better analytics. It has, there's like a variety of reasons why I love it. I'm going to give you five reasons why it's better than Planoly. So this is my video to try to talk my friends and my clients, my coaching clients into working on Tailwind app. So number one, um, is smart bio. So I'm going to share my screen at this point. Wish me luck. Ta da! And today I'm going to show you um, in Planoly why I love it. So, um, first of all, I want to point out Tailwind is um, a tool for Instagram and for uh, Pinterest. Sorry, my chocolate labs here. Uh, for Pinterest, and for um, Instagram. So they are two, they're one account, but you pay separately for them. And it's because they're incredibly robust and it's well worth it for me to, to, to pay the amount. I think it's $119 a year. Th those prices change. And since this is gonna be on a YouTube video, um, I you need to check the pricing because it could change at any point in time. But I, with my link, you're going to get a um, discount um, or a free month, basically, to start on Tailwind. You get one free month to try it out. Uh, and so I'm excited to share that with you. But today we're going to be talking specifically about Instagram and how it helps me for Instagram. So the first thing that is my absolute favorite part is smart bio smart bio as you can see let me click on it here it just already popped up so i think it's gonna re redo um this is smart bio so it is like um a tree i forget the name of that that one thing link tree it's very much like link tree but i found that it's not branded enough and smart bio is fully branded. I'm fortunate in that I got to kind of test out this tool before it was released. Um, I love Tailwind so much that sometimes they'll ask me my opinion on certain things. So when I saw it, I was blown away. Well, at first I said, oh no, I use my own link tree style on my website. Uh, because I wanted everyone to come to my website, um, which is important. I find that very important. But this smart bio has so many cool features that it was worth using. And it's free because I already use Tailwind. I would probably pay for smart bio on its own, even if I wasn't using Tailwind. That's how much I like it. So um, you can see over here, now I updated all of these things. So the numbers aren't as high as they've they've been before. So ignore that part. But one thing it does show me is these are all the links that I entered in here. So as I'm posting on Insta Instagram stories or the feed or in um, IGTV, it, it and I say, oh, click the link in my bio, well, you'll see very quickly, it makes it very, very easy for you to be able to click on one of these things immediately. So the first thing I have is packages and pricing. I have a chat bot and it answers all my clients' questions and gives them a whole bunch of information without me being involved. And it's really, really helpful to me. So I put that first. Um, and then um, I wrote an article about coronavirus and weddings because um, so many of my wedding clients 
were concerned and I wanted to stop the pan panic and the hype. And so I wrote a blog post, so that's the next, but I can move these around anywhere I want them. So I can move them around and be able to um, change it up as I see fit. So, and then it says how many people have clicked on all of these buttons. And so my wedding day emergency kit is brand new. I just put it up there, I think a couple of days ago. Um, but if it went for a week or two and still nobody was clicking on it, I would either post something on my Instagram stories or my feed so I can drive traffic there, or I might just take it off for a while and then put it back on, which is what I did. I had a lot of people sign up to get that information about six months ago. And so now I'm putting it back up there, but you can choose what you want. And, you know, there's something to be said for having less of these pink buttons on there so that you drive more traffic specifically where you want. But for me, brides are always busy and always in a hurry. And so I want to give them all the options pretty much. Um, and as you can see, they click on a lot of them. So I find it helpful. Now, the really cool secret is if you scroll down. This is my answer to the swipe up feature because I don't have thousands upon thousands of followers. But I get a, I get a swipe up feature basically for every single thing I, po I post on Instagram. I know it's like that cool. Every time I tell people that it blows their minds, they don't get it until they try it out or, or figure it out. And so I'm excited to share you, uh, share this with you. So every time I post, and I'll show you in a second, but every time I post um, something on my Instagram feed, I put in a link of where I want people to go from what I posted, which is like a swipe up. And in that messaging, I'll say, click on the link in my bio to go to that website or click the link on my bio to get this free download or click on the link in my bio to see the whole what my blog post on the wedding whatever it is right and these you can change these too so i say see more photos this one says find out more this one says on the blog now this one says view website so you can also put a short but you can put verbiage in there on what you want them to do. This one says, let's chat, because I was talking about, um, you know, talking to my brides. It is incredible. Now, if you just get Tailwind and you're like, that's so cool, but now I'll have like hardly anything up there. Oh, no. These are ones that I had up there from a while ago and hadn't posted yet. So here I can add it there. So now it's added in down here, as I scroll down, then I can see that puppy picture that I just did. So you can go back to all of your posts and add it as well. It just like makes my heart swoon. It is legitimately the best. Um, okay, so I'm going to show you over here on the publisher tab. Again, I'm in Instagram. That'll make more sense if you use it also for Pinterest. Um, but I'm going to click on publisher. And then I have drafts. And then I have scheduled posts and then publish posts and then your schedule. Um, I'm not going to go into full detail on how I do everything because I'm going to have something for you at the end of this that, that shows you that I'm going to be sharing exactly step by step how to work in Tailwind and how I only spend 20 to 40 minutes once a week posting everything for social media for the week. Um, but I'll talk about that at the end. So it's loading right now because there's information in here. But basically, this is the draft section. And um, this is this already scheduled section. And anything scheduled, you'll see over here when it pops up. So forgive me. There we go. Um, because I'm live right now, it's running slow. It doesn't run this slow normally, just as a heads up, because that's the first thing I would worry about. Um, but over here, you see the little calendar on the right side here. That's what's going to be posted. Um, and that one I have scheduled to go on a specific date because it's a national holiday. I think it's puppy day or something. Um, but normally, I allow this, just like Planoly has a scheduler, um, there's an incredibly robust scheduler in here that picks for your analytics the best time and day to post these things. Um, but for this one, I posted sort of outside of that. These are ones that have already been posted. And then these are ones that are going to be posted next. So I'm so sorry. 
I had a phone call and it was ringing. Um, okay, so first of all, buy a link. Then my second reason why I love Tailwind so, so much and why I think it does better than Planoly is because it posts to Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. And it's incredible because, for instance, let's say I was posting this one right here. And I would maybe highlight all of this. Let's see. Okay. As an example, um, you can go down here and click, click on Facebook and you can put something totally different. So in Facebook, the Instagram at names don't always go, right? So you can change these to Facebook ads, you know, names, or you can take it out. Um, you would take out something that says the link is in the bio and you can put the link in here for them to click on in Facebook. It's, it's incredible. Um, and then here you're going to click on this and it'll automatically post to Pinterest and it'll tell you, it'll ask you where you want it to go. So every single time I post on Instagram, I also post to my Jen Vasquez photography board because I think it's really important for every single um, wedding photographer to also have a business board within their Pinterest site. And so I always post it to that Pinterest board uh, in here. And then down here is where that smart bio is, where you would put the link and everything, and then you would just say, add to queue, and it's gonna put it over there. Again, I'm not gonna share all that information with you because I wanna get you through these um, quickly and be honorable about your time. Uh, the next area that is my absolute favorite is the Pinterest, or excuse me, the hashtag finder. So hi, hate picking hashtags. So number one, let's say I put in here wedding photographer as an example. Um, and it's going to pop up with um, recommendations right in here of others that you can put. Now, whoops, sorry, I clicked on the wrong one. So is you, you can see down here, gray is niche, light green is good. Dark green is the best and orange is competitive. Competitive means like more than three or five million. I don't know exactly the numbers change all the time, but I don't have to know because Tailwind knows for me. Tailwind does all of this for me so I don't have to. Um, so you want to divide up what you pick amongst these. Obviously the good and the best, the dark green and the light green are the ones I spend I use the most. So in 30 hashtags, I might use 10 good ones, 10 of the best ones. I'll use niche ones, which is like JVP, because I'm Jen Vasquez photography. So JVP bride, JVP couple, JVP wedding, that kind of thing. Um, those are all going to be pretty much niche. Uh, and so I'll do maybe five of those and I'll do maybe five or three of the competitive or the larger hashtags. And then yes, 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 you can click on this little button right here where it says post hashtags in the first comment. So it won't put it in your um, post, it puts it in the first comment and it does all of this for me. I don't have to do any of it. Oh, it makes my life so, so great. And then here, you can click on saved hashtags because I don't want to take all my time. So I'm going to click on one of the banks that I have. I encourage you, if you're going to use this, to have multiple banks because you don't want to use the same hashtags over and over and over again because the algorithm doesn't like it. So um, I do save multiple hashtags. Now, it looks like it's right in this comment, but when I click here, it's going to actually get posted in the um, first comment on the feed, just as a heads up. And then of course you put this information down there. Alrighty, I'm sold on Tailwind, but there's more. So the fourth reason why I love it is called Inspiration Just For You. And that's this little section over here. This is newer and it, it makes me it makes me really happy because I don't know about you, but do you ever have a hard time figuring out like what you're going to post or what you're going to say? You'll have a picture that you love, but you're like, 
I, I like I don't I just don't even know what to talk about. Um, and the picture does not have to match your post, but you don't want it to be so different from what you're talking about um, either. So you want it to be a little bit related. So um, here it gives you examples like um, upcoming holidays. So Employee Appreciation Day is on the 6th of March. St. Patrick's is on the 17th. Like I told you before, Ish International Puppy Day is the 23rd. I didn't know. I love my chocolate labs. I have three of them. So I used one of their puppies for one of my wedding shoots before, and that's what I'm going to post on International Puppy Day. So I have the cute picture, and now I know what to talk about because it's International Puppy Day. Um, it is, it also, they also give you some curated example posts. Um, to give you sort of an idea on, on what to use. And then they have prompts, like what's the last thing that made you too excited not to share with a friend? Or is there a quote that resonated with you recently? And these change. And so you have new information all the time in here. And whenever, for whatever reason, if I'm getting stuck, it gives me great information. So that is the fourth uh, thing that, that Planoly can do that uh, excuse me, Tailwind can do that Planoly can't. And then the fifth is the personal content plan for growth. Well, I want to grow. Everybody wants to grow. This is also a new feature, which I'm so excited about. So if you click over here on the right at the top, it says edit content plan. And you click on that. Oh, this is so good. So um, I'm gonna customize my plan. So I'm gonna change it up a little bit. Now I like to post um, on Sundays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. That's when most of my brides are checking information out and Planoly picks the um, best time for me as well. But if I felt that um, there was a time that I liked better or that I wanted to start posting so that I start getting people to look at that time for whatever reason, um, you can choose your own time too. So it's not like set in stone either. Um, and so what I picked, what you can pick is these are new post types. So it tell it helps you to know what you're going to plan. So successful Instagram feeds are a mixture of stuff from promoting something to connecting with people to inspiring people, um, things that make you relatable, educating people. Obviously, I love doing that. I'm sorry, my dog's whining right now. Um, and repurpose. Um, sometimes you repurpose an old post uh, because it was so great last year and you're going to use it again. So um, let's go ahead and pick connect for this one. Um, I've got educate to educate my brides, repurpose because I've been a wedding photographer for 10 years. So I love using that. And then relate. I want people that relate to me because those are going to be my ideal brides. And then I say save changes and see my plan in the dashboard. And what it does, oops, sorry. And what it does is it shows you over here. So for the next upcoming posts, the, the very next one, because this is the last one that was posted, this one is scheduled, as you can see from the calendar. Um, this one is relate. So the next post that I'm going to choose, I'm going to somehow, either in my words or in my image, I'm going to show people how to relate to me. So, um, and then inspire, then educate, then repurpose, then relate, and it goes on and on. Um, so, friends, this is like my favorite, my favorite thing ever. Um, okay, so we're back. So I'm so excited. First of all, let me see. Hello, Alicia. Thank you for coming. Oh, Melissa, you're the co community manager at Tailwind. Ah, I love Tailwind so much. Um, anyway, thank you so much. And then uh, Alicia popped on as well. So um, so she's got to get dinner right now, so I'm not going to worry about her. So I don't have any questions at the moment, but what I do want to talk about is I am launching a tailwind, um, mastermind. So I'm going to get a small group of people who are interested in setting up their tailwind and getting it going and having someone, me, help you step by step by step all the way through the process to um, 
get it up and running and learn it without being by yourself. Because, you know, robust tools sometimes can take a little bit. The biggest pushback I get from people when it comes to Tailwind is they'll say, you know, one more thing I have to learn. I don't want to learn one more tool. But this tool will save you so much time that I... I encourage you highly to do it. This is one way that you can do it and it will be easy because you're going to have a, a group in a private group. I'm going to be doing one to two weeks, um, one once to twice a week training on how to do a certain section and take you step by step by step to setting it up and being able to just work on it. We'll be doing one on one hot seats in there where I take your information and um, help you in setting it up one on one if need be. And I'm really excited for it. So if that's something that you are interested in, then I highly recommend that you go to my website, wedphotographycoach.com slash shop, and you'll find out all about it. It's basically a four week um, mastermind in a private Facebook group. And then you get to stay in that Facebook group moving forward. Uh, and I'll be showing you my process on how to spend less time on social media marketing while still growing your business. So you can either do something else in your business that needs attention, or you can spend time with your family and your friends and your loved ones. Um, step-by-step -step, how to implement Tailwind for social media marketing plan and the ability to ask questions one-on-one -on -one and have training in areas and in case you get stuck. You're going to basically leave at the end of the month with a system that allows you to be everywhere online easily. That, that's the key, right? Easily. You'll have more time to do the things you love and spend time with those that you love. And you'll have a support group of biz besties that you met through this mastermind to help you with your business as well. I have this on sale for only $49. So it's only $49. You get one month of training and it gets you up and running. And I promise you that by the end of the month, your life with regards to social media will be easier. I promise. Um, anyway, if you have any questions at all, put those questions down in the comments and I will be happy to answer any of them. I hope you have a great day. Bye.